Hey guys, you know here, and I'm going to show you how I animate things in Flash. Now, I know since you're watching this on YouTube, you're like, what the heck? What animations? You don't post any of these, and that's right, I don't, because a lot of my stuff is scrapped. I have some stuff on DeviantArt I post, and that's all I post it, because I only post finished products on YouTube, which I haven't really had one, so... Anyway, we'll just get started here. I'll show you plenty of things that I do. Um, this first episode is going to show you how um, I make a GIF in order to import into uh, Flash, which we'll go into later tutorials. Um, I'm using the Sonic After the Sequel music for the background because it is just gorgeous music. And... Anyone should like this. This is this is awesome music. Anyway, um, I'll come up to my computer here and show you all these gifts I have. And I've made every single one of these myself, as in animated and put them together. So I guess I'll throw a quick tutorial on how to do that. Uh, I save every single sprite I have so I can use it at any time in any video, any any you know, just so I don't ever have to make it again. And I guess I'll throw my uh, GIFs folder in the download, uh, in the description to download so you guys can have references and you don't have to make what I already made. So, you know, good for you. I might also throw in my sprites folders because I have a whole bunch of Sonic games, Mario games, Zel some Zelda, and just a whole bunch of stuff that I picked up and threw in a folder and kind of organized it. But yeah, okay, what we're going to do here, um, I use fireworks to make my gifts, so if you're unfamiliar with that, I'll kind of take this a little bit slower. I guess first thing we're going to do is open up the sprite sheet you want to animate something with. Uh, I'll do, I'll probably do one I haven't done yet, so uh, I can have something new. Or maybe... Uh, I guess I'll do something I've already done. Just because a lot of stuff I did was simple. So I guess we'll throw out this Sonic sprite sheet. Don't do this one because it, it's, it's complicated with the GIF file. But yeah, if you download this and then follow my tutorial, do exactly pretty much what I'm doing here. Um, what we're going to do is start off with Sonic's stance here. And if you want to know how I zoomed in there, you hold control and scroll with the mouse. It'll zoom into where anything you have selected, and I have the selection tool. But just to jump in and get started, we'll start off with the first frame here. And what you're going to want to do is uh, copy it or cut it. I like cutting it because then I know I, I copied it. And shortcuts for that, to cut it, you can hold control and X, and it'll get rid of it. And that's how you know you copied it. Or you hit control C, which will copy it. But yeah, I'm cutting it so I know. Open a new one. Make sure it's transparent. Don't care about the dimensions. You'll worry about that later. Then you'll paste it into your new one. Shortcut for that is Control V for people who don't know. Or you could just go to Edit, Paste, you know, do all the slow way. But here's where stuff gets a little bit complicated. Most of the time, you're um, right here on layers or pages, I don't remember because I always had my own states. But pretty much these are the layers that you're going to have for your thing. Um, but what you want to do is click on states. This is how you get into your animating. So whenever you click on a new state, uh, it'll make a new image for it for each and every image you'll want to animate. Now, the default settings on it, if you've never opened fireworks before, it should have multi-state editing. You're going to want to uncheck that because that will let you edit multiple frames at once and that can mess up your animations pretty easily. But another useful tip is this onion skinning thing. You can do this custom thing, but all you got to do pretty much is click the previous one before and you'll have your reference sprite to work with. Oops. So what we're going to have to do next is open up the second frame for Sonic. Go back to here and paste it in the second state and kind of align it to where you think it would work smoothly. And then click on the new state and keep going at it. 
until you reach the end of the uh, the animation to wherever you most desire it to be. You can have a half cut animation, fully looping animation. And I guess I'll try and do this as fast as I can if you're just watching the video. Um, let's see, this is the last frame. So you don't want any, you don't want to enter a new one. You'll also have a blank state and he'll constantly disappear. But once you click play, it should have him going through his idle stance animation, which is good. Now, as you can see right here, he cuts off at the top, and that's because the canvas isn't big enough. A good thing to fix that is to go to the modify panel, oops, and hit fit canvas, and it should fit. It'll squeeze it to where how many pixels wide he is to buy tall through the whole animation, so he won't be left out. Now. Uh, you can also set the speeds where the sevens are. Seven is supposed to be uh, about 24 frames per second, but the flash can do any way it wants to, so I wouldn't just mess with that. But in order to export it the correct way for me, is to go to File, Image Preview, and usually the default stance here will be PNG 32, where it won't it won't play because it doesn't have any frames because it's not a GIF. What you're going to want to switch it to is the animated GIF and I zoom on it just to make sure it's transparent because if it's not it should look like this with a white background and if you import it it'll have a white background behind it which will make it look pretty bad so you don't want that to happen so you click on alpha transparency make sure the animation plays through smoothly then bugs or dings and then export it to where you want to go. And if you downloaded my reference sprites file, I just throw it in the Sonic folder if you use the exact same one I did. I think I already had it though. Maybe not. Well, that's cool. I didn't have it. So I'll do Sonic Fight Stance. I like being specific with this so it's kind of easy to get through. But yeah, that's how you make an animated GIF. And I guess I'll show you how to import it real quick before I end the video. So I open up Flash, I'll get into more complicated stuff next video, and I mean it'll be kind of a big jump in difficulty. And if this is pretty difficult, and I don't know if you should really mentally prepare for the next step, or probably just not animate, because it is tough. It took me forever to get to where I am today. But well, I like using ActionScript 2.0, 3.0 I think is too complicated. Either way, you can still animate. You know the you should know the interface if you've been working with Flash for a while. I moved mine up and got rid of some stuff that I didn't need. But if you want the sprite to be imported, what you got to do is hit File Import to Library. And apparently CS6 has a prepare to import thing. I don't know why, but now we go find it. Sprite folder, resource gifts. Sonic, and we'll find where it says Sonic Stance, Sonic Fight Stance, and we should be, I can import anything, but here it is, and you pretty much hit open. Now, it'll be in your library, and all of the images needed for it, too, will be there, but what you want to import here is this symbol, which will have its own name. The more you import, the more symbols will come in but as soon as I import it what I would do is name it so you call it Sonic Fight Stance so you can easily find it if you need to use it later in the animation so usually when I get into a complicated video like here I'll, I'll pull up one of my old versions of my Sonic Shadow Battle which I'm actually going to start over again because I think I'm doing a sloppy job but see if uh, all the stuff I have here, all the different bitmaps and stuff. Once you organize it, you can just type in Sonic if you organized it right. And you can find the symbols if you named them for Sonic. So you can get all his animations. But once you do that, you kind of just drag it into the layer you want. And I'm going to make it big here so we can see it. And it, since it it's in its own movie clip, it should play on its own when the animation plays. So when you test it out. He should be uh, playing just fine. 
the default things at 24 frames per second. I like doing it at 30. I think that's what it does for the actual Game Boy version. And that's how you make an animated GIF and import it to Flash. I'll get into more complicated stuff next time if you want to stay up to date on all my tutorial crap along with my Let's Plays because this is going to be a one jumble of a channel. Just hit subscribe and like it if you thought this was a cool tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next video.